Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media, here today with a video on the most common BMW M60 engine problems. The BMW M60 is a three to four liter double overhead cam V8 engine that was initially introduced in 1992. The M60 marked BMW's first modern V8 engine and their first V8 engine in over 25 years since the end of the OHV V8 from BMW. Now, the BMW M60 engine had a rather short production run. It was only produced from 1992 until 1996. And there are two primary variants of the BMW M60, one being the M60B30, which is a 3.0 liter V8, and the other variant being the M60B40, which is a 4.0 liter V8 engine. Ultimately, the BMW M60 is a fairly simple and straightforward engine, and that's a large part of what allows the M60 to deliver great reliability. Even still to this very day, the M60 is an excellent engine that can deliver great reliability and longevity when properly maintained and taken care of. And it really all boils down to just the simplicity of the engine when it was introduced in 1992. However, with that being said, despite the simplicity of this engine, it can often be referred to as a modern BMW engine or one of their modern V8 engines. And that is because the M60 actually used a lot of modern day technology and stuff that was a lot newer for that time and the era that the M60 was introduced introduced, including things like the double overhead cam design, the coil on plug design, and a number of other technologies that were used in this engine. However, again, it is pretty straightforward and simple due to the lack of things like Vanos or variable valve timing and other technologies that would be a little bit more common on BMW engines moving into the late 90s and 2000s. Anyway, with that being said, again, the M60 is an incredibly reliable engine and still a great engine to this day, but no engine is perfect and that applies to the the M60 as well. It does still have a couple common problems. And so with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss the most common BMW M60 engine problems. Number one on the list, we have the Nicosil issues. And I would just like to point out up front, this is pretty much a non-issue nowadays, something that you really shouldn't be too concerned about if you're looking to pick up an M60 or an M60 powered vehicle. The Nicosil issues really mostly affected these M60s in the very early early days. Ultimately, what the Nicosil issues boil down to is BMW actually opted to use spray on liners on these cylinder bores. And what they opted for was a spray on material called Nicosil. Unfortunately, Nicosil does not react well with high sulfur gasoline. In particular, when high sulfur gasoline came into contact with the Nicosil cylinder liners, that would cause the Nicosil to actually corrode and damage the cylinder liners and the bore of the engine. And so ultimately that led to the need for a complete block replacement of the BMW M60. And so this was primarily an issue here in the United States, as well as the United Kingdom and South Africa, as these countries all had very high sulfur content in their fuel back at the time of the M60's introduction in the early to mid 1990s. Quickly after the M60 was introduced, all of these countries had started moving away from this high sulfur fuel, but that did not stop the M60 from still running into issues with this Nicosil and cylinder bore damage in the very early days of the engine. So ultimately, BMW ended up ditching the Nicosil cylinder liners in favor of Alusil. On top of that, BMW also replaced all of these blocks under warranty and offered an extended warranty up to six years and 100,000 miles. So with all that said, the reason I mentioned that this is really a non-issue nowadays is because any of these blocks that did have this Nicosil issue were already either replaced under that warranty or for the few that probably still are out there today, they don't have this issue and it's unlikely it's going to develop moving Moving forward, if it hasn't shown any signs or symptoms of this damage and block failure yet, it really should not occur nowadays because again, even back in the mid-1990s, 
all these countries were already moving to lower the sulfur content in all of these fuels. So ultimately, even if you do find an M60 and pick one up that has one of those old original Nicosil blocks, if the issue never popped up in the early days, it definitely shouldn't be an issue nowadays. And so just something to keep in mind with those blocks, if you do find one with the older Nicosil design, it might be a good idea to compression test it and just make sure there isn't any damage that could be lingering from way back in the 90s. Moving on to our second common problem, we we have timing chain guide failures. So with the metal timing chain, that meant BMW had to use plastic timing chain guides. And ultimately plastic is just prone to wearing down and degrading with age and mileage. So as these M60 engines continued getting older and older, something that started coming to light was the fact that these timing chain guides had a tendency to fail roughly around the 120 to 160,000 mile ballpark. Some may even last longer than that. And so if you're looking to pick up an M60, something to keep in mind, if it has an original timing chain and timing chain components, you might just want to go ahead and replace the entire timing chain tensioner as well as the guides. One reason that the timing chain guide failure is worth mentioning is the BMW M60 is an interference engine. That means there is overlap in the area in which the valves and pistons all travel. So if the timing chain guide fails and allows the timing to jump enough, you can actually run into a situation where the valves and pistons can collide with each other and cause serious engine damage or complete engine failure. So something to keep in mind and definitely go ahead and replace those preventatively, especially if it hasn't been done in a long time. Last but not least, our final common problem is the cooling system. This has always been one of BMW's weak points. A lot of different BMW engines start running into various cooling system failures around that 80 to 120,000 mile ballpark. That's when a lot of these cooling system components, especially things made out of rubber or rubber-like materials, as well as the water pump, radiator, cooling fan, and a lot of BMWs start running into a couple of those cooling system issues. And so those are all things that, that tended to be a few problems with the BMW M60 as it continued getting older and older. And with that being said, nowadays with the M60 being a roughly 30 year old engine, there are a lot of components in the M60 that will likely need some additional repair, replacement, preventative maintenance, and ultimately just extra TLC. That's especially true if you're picking up an M60 from say a junkyard or somewhere maybe it's been sitting or hasn't been maintained well in the past. Ultimately, all sorts of different plastic or rubber-like components and materials simply degrade with age, even outside of just mileage, just age can take a toll on these components. So anything like coolant hoses, any sort of gaskets, O-rings, seals, etc. On these older engines in general, those just tend to be common problems that should ideally be replaced, but just something to keep in mind again with any older engine. This is something that's always going to be true regardless of whether it's a BMW or any other car or engine. Anyway, that wraps up our most common problems for the BMW M60 engine. Ultimately, the M60 is a very reliable engine. Again, even to this day, once you pick up an M60, maybe knock out some of the older components like some seals, gaskets, O-rings, a couple cooling system repairs, and they can ultimately be very reliable engines even for the long term, despite the fact that they are now 30-year-old engines. The M60 really truly is just a simple, reliable engine, and they're easy to work on. Again, the biggest issue back in the day was that Nicosil issue, which is mostly a non-problem nowadays and really shouldn't affect really any M60s on the road today. Otherwise, those timing chain guides are just kind of something to keep an eye on roughly every 120 to 160,000 miles. And then lastly, most of the issues with the M60 that you run into are simply going to be age-related due to the fact of the M30 being a 30-year-old engine nowadays. Outside of that, the M60 again is a great engine and it has been a great engine for its whole life and continues to be an engine that a lot of BMW enthusiasts really appreciate and respect and also often still consider the M60 as one of BMW's most reliable and best modern V8 engines. Anyway guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone.